Hello everybody, this is Dan Bigman. I am your GPR professor from LearnGPR.com and I'm in the airport in New Orleans uh, after I just attended the CSDA meeting um, and I'm waiting for my flight and I figured I might as well show you folks what I am working on. And I'm looking at some data and uh, you know, I figured I'd share. And so kind of the message for today is don't get discouraged, all right? Don't get discouraged. So this is data from a site that we worked on. It was an archeological site, historic site. Um, but now it's a campgrounds. And so here's a pad, for example. Uh, and here's another one kind of down here where people can put an RV or pitch a tent or what have you. Uh, and so we were searching for a historic, you know, historic architecture uh, we're looking for linear features that may have been walls, and we're looking for you know, squared responses that may have been buildings or rooms uh, in a fort. And so we collected these data with a GPS integrated with the GPR, and you can see the lines here. If you're interested in GPS, we do distribute uh, an RTK system um, that we're happy to uh, talk to you about. Uh, really high quality, really high accuracy, uh, even even in some canopy, which over here uh, kept really well. And this is just around some trees that we were moving. So kind of did lines and then did it, you know, more of a grid in this area. And so what's the, why is the message don't get discouraged? Well, in this case, right, we would expect a lot of noise uh, in the area because of the, you know, the use history. And, you know, it's used as a, as a campgrounds now there are some services running through here that we identified. So here, for example, um, is a utility line you know, running right through the site and it kind of peers off this way. There is a water line coming up this direction. You can kind of see, uh, see it a little bit. So there's a lot kind of going on here and you know, it's a little bit discouraging sometimes and you're looking for something and you might not be able to identify it because of disturbance, right? Not because, um, it's not there and, and you still answer the question whether you know something is worth you know, verifying or excavating or not uh, you know, negative data is always always data um, but not being able to see something because of, of, of noise and disturbance however what we were able to do is when we start to get down a bit further uh, here's about 1.5 meters down okay, here's about 1.35 All right, well, what you can start seeing here at almost two meters down, right, six feet if you're in the U.S., at almost two meters down, you're getting this squared off isolated response, which is consistent with what we would be looking for. Uh, as we go even a little bit further, we start to get some more uh, things emerging. And, uh, you know, and this is a great example of what we would want to test or protect, depending on what the goals of the project are, um, that is indicative of what we would expect for this time period in this location, and right size, right shape, um, and so it, ultimately it's a success, right? Despite all the disturbance, despite all the all the erosion, despite the utilities, uh, we still were able to identify some targets of interest that are they archaeological, historical? We don't know, um, but we have locations to go test and. I get discouraged for sure. And so, you know, if you get discouraged and, you know, watch this video or just kind of take the message that sometimes, even though we expect it not to work out in our favor, it still may not be as bad as we had anticipated. So uh, take that as, as the lesson. Anyway, if you like the video, then please subscribe to the channel and click the like button. If you have not done so yet, go to the learngpr.com website, put your name and email in and we will you'll get access to our introductory free introductory training webinar um, and you'll you know we'll send you emails on upcoming trainings and other uh, uh, free training videos that we that we put out you get notifications for so hope this was helpful uh, stay on task don't get discouraged uh, tomorrow's another day and good luck surveying